What a guys, it's your boy Genzo or any Genzo up with another video and today we got a, a late Sunday post. Well, I'm making this a Sunday anyway. But long story short, we have finally got to the moment where the Brawlhalla Battle Pass is finally out. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to see this. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to give a bit of my review on the Battle Pass. I'm going to rate things here and there on a scale of 1 to 10 and doing it off a couple factors so let's go on to the battle pass right now so in the battle pass obviously you know there's a collection of stuff that you can get within the free one and the premium one i obviously had to buy the premium one but yeah long story short first factor let's go on about the sidekicks okay obviously every battle pass comes with a couple sidekicks so first one we got stone guardian then we got chimera then we got the harbinger of souls and last but not least, the pretty well played of words, you know, pretty nice play on words, Living Nightmare, which is, yeah, kind of cool. Now, personally, I'm going to give them only a 7 out of 10. I was going to knock this down to a 6, but I'll be generous and give 7. Now, I just feel like the only real good one is the Living Nightmare, which, I mean, look, nice, like I say again, really nice play on words, and it looks pretty cool. But just comparing it to last season's Battle Pass, I just don't think that it really does compare i like some of them because some of them fit in with the law of obviously the order of the exalted lion which is what this one's based off but i just don't feel like they're that cool and like again i know like you know sidekicks aren't really a big factor but i feel like that's something we should still consider but yeah sidekicks i'm gonna give a seven out of ten then we're gonna do the avatar so as you can see there's two here we got crown of the exalted and we got mark of the oel time will tell Floating Chalice and the Order's Standard, Jaws of a Mad King, Spellcaster's Last Resort, Geminus Virons, and Scythe of the Cull, Tomb of Rituals with the Heretics Assemble, and last but not least, Metamorphis. Now, for the avatars, I'm going to give them a 7.5 out of 10. Now, it's kind of hard to judge the avatars because some of them are animated ones and some are standard. But on a whole, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. And that's because, like, some of the avatars fit in with the skins, like, really well. So, I, I, like, I like the fact how some of the avatars pair up with some of the skins. For example, Geminus Virens goes really well with, if I get to it, the honor bound cross skin i mean look our cross as you see every time he flips a coin that is the coin that he flips so i think you know the fact that some of the avatars actually go in with the actual skins pretty cool next we have the weapons now weapons you can find every single one of them you've got the booming belfry here you've got the lion's reign here you got the hammer here the mosaic mall we've got the royal crescent we've got the flintlock claws We've got the Prideful Roar. We've got the Exalting Spire. We've got the Lightened Eminence. We've got the Arched Valor. We've got the Stained Shards. We've got the Glory of the Lions. We've got the Saber of Order. And last but not least, we've got the Righteous Spine. Personally, I'm going to give the weapons once again... I'm going to give this one a 7. Some of the weapons I think do look really cool, but some of them I just... Meh. You know, that I don't think any of them are bad. Let me just get that straight out of the way. I don't think any of them are bad, but I feel like a lot of them are kind of meh. You know, they're not, they're not the greatest. You know what I mean? So, I, uh, you know, I, I'm going to give it a 7. I think it's decent. Some of them are definitely decent. Personally, I think some of the weapon skins I already have, so I probably won't use that many of them but i do think some of them are pretty good and for the next one we don't really need to go far for this one but this one we have got the level up podium okay the level up podium now i'll be honest i'll be honest i think i'm gonna new rating here we're gonna give this one an a actually eight and a half we'll give this one an eight and a half i think this level two and level three is what really carries it okay level one isn't bad but level two and level three they look so beautiful like i have the 
high level three version of season three's podium i think i might use level three this season because this podium looks really good okay i really like these podiums i like the fact that the building slowly shatters i like how the flames start rising up and engulf the platform i i just think it's really good all right i think these are really good and i love it next we got the emotes now first one we got gravedigger then we got the order salute then we got begun evil just popping a quick elixir momentary rest and last but not least full moon's howl once again i think i'm gonna give the emotes an eight out of ten possibly an eight and a half i could push it to eight and a half but i think eight out of ten firstly because if we just go back to this emote if anyone knows anime okay or knows about dragon ball z this just reminds me of like ginyu force okay like it just gives me Ginyu Force vibes. And some of these emotes, like I say again, genuinely do look pretty good. Some of them I probably will replace with some of the emotes that I have. So I will definitely use them in game. I just think that some of these emotes are pretty cool. I think they're like pretty decent. Next category, we've got the themes. First, we've got the loading frame, the stained legacy. Then we got the UI theme, Raw of the Order. And last but not least, we have the KO effect being the Unchained Resolve. Now once again personally i'm gonna give it just because of the sword because of the knockout theme i'm gonna give it an a i think that the sword carries it a lot the ui themes like say again not bad originally i was gonna give it a seven but the knockout effect is really good. Like, say again, once I get it in the battle pass, I'm probably going to replace it with the current knockout effect that I have, which is last season's one for the last season's battle pass. But yeah, I just think this one is just so cool. It really is so cool. I enjoy it. And now we're getting onto the more important ones. Now, firstly, I had to pick the Diana skin in the order of the lion, so I feel like it just would make sense so I didn't. But I know this doesn't come with the battle pass, so I feel like we need to give this a rating as well, being the maps. I mean, look, the small fortress of the lion. I think this map just so beautiful. You know, I dislike how the platforms in this map but i also like the fact how the platform is a lot higher than usual you know diana's upside can't even reach it i don't know if her upside with the her upside with the blasters can reach it but yeah i like i think i like it how the platform is slightly more elevated than it normally would be and like i mean look at the effects for diana man like say again let me just get it look at that so wait let's what does it look like when we hit it Oh, just look at it. It you truly it's so beautiful. Look, if we include one of the new maps, you can't miss out on the other one being the actual fortress of the lion. Look at this map, man. This is just once again so beautiful. Like you have a gondola on the right over here, just like it's just chilling there. You got the art in the background that we also saw on the other map. We just see the mountain that is literally shaped as a lion with the castle on top this map itself i mean look here we got roman numerals at the time showing through and then obviously the glass breaks i'm gonna guess that's when uh octavius mordex accidentally transforms metamorphosis and uh yeah it just is this map itself is so beautiful i like i really do love this map hopefully i'll be able to play this with uh you know some of the other guys because this map is just so well done so it just looks so nice so yeah that is the map fortress of the lion so the next important one being the coat of lions universal color scheme what do i think about it okay what do i think about this color theme now i'ma be honest i'ma be honest big fan possibly in my opinion the best one that there has ever been okay this one gives me heavy esports v2 vibes you know it, it looks a lot like it well not it don't look very similar to esports v2 but it does look kind of similar you know it it definitely shares some similarities for that reason gonna give it the highest rating we have yet being a nine 
okay i think this color scheme once again i really hope that my friends get the battle pass this season because i really want to be rocking this coat of lion skin i think this one is probably the best one i mean i remember some of the other ones you know we've had the forest one and synth wave from what i can remember i just think that coat of lions is probably the best one i just think it it's just so cool it really is so cool so yeah coat of lions nine out of ten and last but not least probably the most important thing i could go on about the skins so we got octavius mordex who slowly levels up and yeah also with the weapons leveling up then we have Unabound Cross. Then we have High Priestess Nai. Ezot Azoth. 85, the highest tier. Soul Bound Diana. Now, I am going to rate the skins. Highest rating yet, 9.5 out of 10. I genuinely think these skins are so good this season. Like, so good. And that's comparing it to last season, of course. Uh, honestly, I just look the Diana skin alone. Some of the effects that she has for her six are just out of this world. So beautiful. The fact that every time you ready up, you have to have the glass shatter in the background, the white flames, the fact that her vengeance at hand looks a lot like heat blast blasters. I think that honestly, this Diana skin may honestly be the best battle pass top tier skin that we have ever had. And I just think, yeah, this Diana is crazy. Okay. And so, yeah, I genuinely think that this Diana skin, crazy. Just beautiful. Honestly, congrats to the art team. This is out of this world. And that is the entire battle pass done. Now, on a whole, I'm going to give this battle pass a 9.5 out of 10. That was me trying to be as harsh and as fair as possible. I genuinely, I think there's very small that you can do to make the battle pass better. I, I love the emotes, like say again, I love the order, the coat of lions skin. I genuinely think that's also cool. I just, and I mean, I was like, come on, all the Diana players going crazy. All the Mordex players are going crazy, all right? The fact that there's a Mordex skin in the battle pass, Mordex being the most popular character in the game. I mean, come on, you just, you just, you just gotta be feeling I, I just love this bar pass i really do think it's a good one so yeah this has been your boy genzo and hopefully i can see you guys next time later